Hey guys, welcome back to part 10 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Bachelor mini series. And in part 10, I think today we are gonna kind of focus in on trying to get Connor to be a part of our family because we are halfway through the series and um, I think that's just, it's, it's, it's about time. Anyway, Hampton's actually just getting up uh, uh, for school right now. Um, it looks like it's about to come, the bus is about to come in an hour. We're gonna have him just go and uh, take a quick shower while his mother, um, I think she's making waffles or pancakes. I don't know if he's gonna have time to eat them or not, but nevertheless, we are going to try. Um, Claire is very excited that Hampton is now in school. It will give her more opportunity to look for ways to make money. Um, she's not really ready to get a job quite yet. I think she needs to really work on her, um, her author job or what is it? Uh, hello, Jen. <laughs> what is it when you're author, right? Like her, her, I don't know, whatever, you know. Yeah, whatever. I don't even know. But she just needs to work on her career. Uh, she burnt the damn pancakes. That is no surprise there. Uh, Hampton's, Hampton's reading the story. And I think he's just going to skip the pancakes for today. And we're going to let those just kind of spoil. Uh, because honestly, they don't look that appetizing. Uh, we'll just eat some leftover lemon pancakes that we made the other day. And then after that... I'm thinking maybe, um, <clears throat> let's see, how can we make money in this town? I don't think we can sue for slander anymore. I think that's pretty much a done deal. Yeah, that's like over and done with. Um, we can go to the festival. We can even maybe consign some stuff, but I don't think we have anything to actually consign. So I don't know how we'll make money. I really don't. Um, let's go see if Connor is home at all. Um, I'm not exactly sure where his house is. I have to find it. That's the bachelor house. Looks like Kiana's home alone with the baby. Um, let me find out. I'm not 100% sure actually where Connor even lives. Think over here, right? Um, let's go over to the Frio household and um, we'll, we'll see who's home. I'm not exactly sure who is. I think Connor works, and what does Connor do again? He is a automatic or automated spell checker. He's actually in the journalism career, and he has uh, completed a community high school, but nothing, nothing really else in there. So um, we're just gonna go visit his house for a little bit, and then um, I don't know, hang out with his family and. You know, if he comes over later, that would be cool. Um, I would love to see what his house looks like, you know, just to be interested. And obviously he has some enemies because they have spilt his garbage. Um, but nice, nice house, actually. I really like this. Uh, what is this on the... Ooh, looks like a um, space rock, but I really like this house, like, a lot. That is a nice view of the beach. It's beautiful. Um, looks like we're being invited inside by Jared Frio, Ooh. which just so happens to be, um, his brother. Now, one thing I did know, notice is that, uh, I think when I first started playing Claire, like, she was pregnant or something, um, and I think someone said it was with his kid, I don't know, but for some strange reason, uh, she like we couldn't have the baby um like she would go into the hospital to have the kid and she kept coming out going back in coming out so i had to like totally i guess like reset her and stuff so she lost the baby i guess i really don't know that situation but we're gonna try to cozy up with jared a little bit so we can promote the restaurant to him since he is the very last person that we need to um promote the restaurant too so we can actually earn some simoleons so that would be fantastic not to mention it is Kana's brother and um you know why not why not uh, become friends and literally when I mean friends I mean just friends Claire also wants to impress Jared so we are going to try to impress him talk about wealth like we have any money but we can lie we'll even talk about Jeffrey Landgrab since he seems to be a hot commodity <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ooh, big deal, 3,000 simoleons, oh, big spender. He's not very impressed, and so far we are not. Look at him, he's like, woohoo, toodle, toodle my horn, nobody cares. So we're not really 
impressing him at all. I'll, uh, I don't know. Okay, can we compliment him on his fine arts? And we'll we'll talk about we'll talk about street art skill. Yeah, how about that? That might work. No, he hates us. It's pretty official in that aspect. He's not a fan. Um, and unfortunately, there's nothing really we can do about that. We'll show him a gross video. He'll probably hate us even more, I think. Yep. Oh, he actually liked that. Okay. Um, let's talk about our occupation. We're going to be an art appraiser. We're going to totally BS this kid until he's our friend. Oh, he, he, he really knows how to call us out. All right, forget it. Whatever. I guess we'll have to find somebody else that we can do that to. Uh, it says, uh, Claire Yersing has found out that Jared is in the fine arts degree, and I want to collect this rock. Oh, so. Uh, and then we're going to call Jared, or Connor, actually. And um, we'll see if he likes to come over. So I want to know how much this rock is worth. Um, my dog is so cute. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, it's only worth 22 simoleons. Would you stop? I hate this damn laptop. Like, every time I turn around, the chick is on the computer. She needs to leave this damn thing at home. Um, and now it's worth 44. So we'll, we'll sell this. And uh, I'm actually going to have her put this laptop back at the house because it is driving me nuts that all she wants to do is use it. Um, okay, now let's invite Connor over really quick. Now, we could move in with his brother, but, you know, I, like, I really want her to start, start, um, a life with him without a million other freaking sims. Sorry, I'm too busy to talk right now. I'll try calling back in an hour. All right, well, I, I, this is awkward being around his brother. Uh, there's not much else for us to do, but let's go to the beach for a little bit, I guess. We'll wait for him there. It's nice meeting you, Jared. You're a creeper, but all is well. And I am leaving. Out of here. Sayonara. Hasta la vista, baby. Toodaloo. <gasps> wait. Wait, 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 wait. What is all of these space rocks here? Like, they're just littered throughout the house. I'm I'm not complaining, though. I'll totally take these. Um, now it's been about an hour. So I think we can just invite him out somewhere, I guess. Um, I don't know where we could go. I want to take him somewhere kind of far away. We could go to the karaoke, um, the, the coffee place, the cafe. Um, we could go to laundromat. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, actually, you know, we'll just we'll just go to the beach, I think. Or there's another beach over here. It's a little more private. Or there's one over here. It's also really private. I am thinking we'll we'll go over here because this is where we're gonna ask Connor to be our boyfriend and also move in. So hopefully he'll be down and we'll earn some money from that. I also need to check out her lifetime points as well to see if maybe we can get some sort of inheritance and we'll just dub it. What the hell? It says sorry. I got hung up on something. Maybe we can meet again soon. Oh, that is so sad. Well, there's no point in going there, then, if he's just going to ditch us. What? Oh, my gosh. That really sucks. Hampton's class will be taking a trip tomorrow to the Spectre Family Monasylum, or Monasylum, or whatever. Do you want to sign the permission slip? Sure, why not? Truthfully, I feel absolutely horrible for Claire. It's like nobody wants anything, anything to do with her, which is sad. You know, I was hoping... She would find someone, you know, to like, to be with, but um, doesn't look like it's working out very well. Uh, if we work out using the push self for three hours, we can gain athletic skill. No, it's okay. Um, let's go check our lifetime points. Ooh, we are just a little bit short of 30,000, and then we will get some simoleons, so that's not too bad. Uh, we want to impress Jared Frio. We really want to kiss Connor for the first time, and we also want to be worth more than 300 simoleons. I think Hampton is just about about to come home, so maybe we'll just um we'll we'll meet him at the uh or actually you know what he can cancel that and we'll just go spend some time with our son for a little bit, and we'll also try to um invite Connor over. I don't know. I really don't know what to say. Who knows, maybe we'll end this uh, with Claire being single. That would be sad, but it is what it is. So I can't really do a heck of a lot about it. So here she is. 
I don't know what we can do with Hampton. The mailman's here. That's kind of strange. Um, we'll let little guy go ahead and uh, get his face painted for $50. We'll give him a feline face. Claire wants to light some fireworks. I think we can actually buy fireworks from one of the concession stands. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll redeem some of our festival tickets. And uh, there's some ladybugs we can collect. Oh my gosh, we are so desperate for money. And look at that snake. Ooh, let's go over here and try to grab this guy. It is a San Francisco gardener snake. Hopefully this guy is actually worth some money. Um, oh, nope, it looks like, <laughs> oh no, Claire. Uh, ouch, Bitten, you aren't quite sure how it all happened, but one moment things were going fine, and then BAM, you have a pet non on you. Ouch, from wild animals. So unfortunately that didn't work out very well for poor Claire, um, but we'll, we'll redeem our, f our festival tickets, and then hopefully that will put things in a better mood. Um, if not, we can always take it out on these poor flamingos. <laughs> when all else fails. Hick a flamingo. Makes yourself feel better. Alrighty. Let's see. Why does it always look like they don't want to serve you? <laughs> like, seriously. I think we could get a... No, you have to buy them individually. Usually you can buy the packs, but... Okay. Um, We'll grab some rainbow sparklers for Hampton. We'll do a parent approved snake. How coincidental. We'll do some face melter fireworks and the holiday cannon and i think that would be pretty much it and we'll purchase these oh whoops i just purchased two of them okay can i can i put one back no okay um close so now we got some fireworks that we can light later on where is hampton he is actually um going to go ahead and skate now we're very persistent we really want connor to come over we'll try to invite him um, I mean, I, I, I totally get a hint. If he doesn't want to be with us, I understand. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to try. It says, sure, I'll come over in a little while. Yeah, that's what you said last time, buddy. Um, while she's at it, we're going to have her go catch these ladybugs real quick. Um, I wonder if he's even here or who is here. Uh, just a whole bunch of, you know, random people. Um, it looks like there's a little boy here. Boy or girl? Ifran Raymond. I'm not exactly sure if this is a boy or a girl, but Hampton, why don't you go ahead and join the shootout first? Let's do friendly introduction. And uh, Claire's going to go ahead and participate in the uh, eating contest here. So she's really, really trying to have some fun. Alrighty. Let's see if she'll win. I'm not really interested in watching that right now, so we're just gonna we're gonna go watch Hampton um, meet some friends and you know stuff like that. His little face paint looks really cute. Looks like Tony the Tiger. I wonder whatever happened to that guy. Is he still around? The Frosted Flakes Tiger? I don't know. <laughs> here's Connor, um, which is which is interesting. I don't know why he's here. She's still waiting for the the contest or she's actually in the middle of it right now um but after she's done with this we're gonna be romantic and give him an amorous hug see he's like us he doesn't like large crowds so we should be totally i don't know we should be fine but someone said he's unforty so that could make a lot of sense you know maybe we'll just ask him to move in at first how about that and then we'll try to be his boy or girlfriend I really don't like doing it that way, but I mean, like I said, if, if this is all it's going to take, then that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, whatever. It really doesn't matter. So who's, is this a guy or a girl? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Hampton actually wants to do a cardio workout, so why doesn't he go ahead and practice some, some soccer? And uh, it's actually getting kind of late. And we're really trying to uh, um, make him think we are, what is it, sociable or whatever. And, um, you know, I don't know. We have a lot in common. See, he he likes books. I like books. I mean, you know, he doesn't like large crowds. Neither do I. I mean, there's a lot of different things that him and I have in common. Um, okay, so now he thinks we're being sociable or whatever. Uh, we're going to ask him to move in. Again, it might be too soon. He might say no, but we are definitely going to give it give it a whack. 
Oh, Ooh, he actually agrees. Very yeah. strange. He doesn't like our romantic advances. However, he's totally cool with um, being our dude. Now, we're not going to get any money from him, which kind of makes me think, is this for love or is this for cash? But, or, but Claire is okay with, with that. And, um, you know, even if we don't get any money, at least we get him in our house. And that means one step closer to our husband and being your boyfriend and all that stuff. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but um, I'm very, I'm very optimistic to say the least. Okay, so it's kind of getting late. I'm thinking we should go back to the house and light some of those fireworks and celebrate perhaps. So uh, I'll, I'll take Hampton and then I think Connor is just going to go by himself. Um, I think we have to actually disband the group really quick before I can take Hampton. So, because otherwise we'll be waiting till like, I don't know, next year for this to happen. So let's just disband the group and then we will go here with um, Hampton Bachelor. And I think, oh, that's good. At least we got a really cool new truck. I mean, that's worth something right and he also wants to light some fireworks is today like um no it's two more days until later today so i don't really understand but uh let's see how much this car is worth if we sell it we can actually sell it for three thousand seven hundred but you know i'd rather have this in the sloppy jalopy so it says totally preggers and expecting a mother's tale and we also got a really sweet laptop that we're gonna sell for four thousand and some other cool doodads. I want to check his family tree. So his only uh, relative is actually Jared for you. Um, and Connor's traits are bookworm, good, loner, absent-minded, and unflirty. You guys nailed it on the head. And he's actually be going to become an adult in six days. So, and he has one lifetime happiness point. Big spenda. Uh, he's going to go over here and clean up for Claire. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. I really am. How exciting. Where is she though? She needs to hurry the heck up. All right, so we're all here. I wonder if we can, um, let's go put the fireworks outside. We have a really big backyard, so we shouldn't catch anything on fire. Um, let's see, I'm going to put the face melter right here and Put the rainbow sparkles over here, and then uh, also just put one of those right there. Um, and then I'm going to call everyone out to the backyard. And um, I'll let, I'll let uh, um, Hampton here light himself some sparklers really quick. And these are the rainbow sparklers. And I think Claire is going to launch. We'll let her launch the... Um, the face melter <laughs> really quick and I don't know how we're gonna be able to see this but we'll, we'll try all right let's see hold on it's not working why not oh oh it didn't work it didn't work oh did it work let's see if it worked I don't see anything oh there it is oh how pretty that is so pretty Yay! Claire has to use the restroom. All that excitement. Her little old bladder can't take it no more. She's like, oh, relief. <laughs> and yes, in that manly tone. Okay, Connor also wants to launch a little something something. So we will light the fuse to this bad boy. And he is going to go over here and watch. Okay, so let's have him watch firecrackers. Oh, this is a little bonding experience. Any day now. Oh, okay. Let's do it like this. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, well, that was pretty lame. Okay, well, um, that was cool, I guess. Uh, Hampton actually does have a little homework he's going to have to do for now. And Connor is going inside. I think we're going to sell the jalopy, the sloppy jalopy. We may keep it. I don't know. Um, we're actually going to have him eat something really quick. He's, he is hungry. So we'll eat leftover cake slice. And then Claire is going to come in the kitchen. And we are going to... Gosh, she is so desperate to get in Connor's pants. It is ridiculous. Like, 
I'm really happy for it. What the hell are you wearing? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is not Thanksgiving, lady. She looks like a little pilgrim. Um, but she's gonna, she's gonna try to, you know, yeah, no, you know, um, make, make it official between them. Cause she, she wants babies. She wants babies. She wants marriage. She wants everything. And, um, Connor's, Connor's the man. He really is. So let's be romantic and give her a hug. And you know what? I can even make it. So he, he kind of goes on to her a little bit. He's going to give her the heat of the moment kiss because obviously we know Claire wants it. So I think he's afraid of heartbreak too. Maybe he just remembers all the naughty wow. things that she's done. And she's pissed off. What is going on between these two? Like, seriously? Oh, my goodness. Maybe it's just not meant to be. Like, I feel like I am working extra hard on this. I don't know. I, I Maybe it's just me. So we will be... We'll apologize. I'm sorry. This is awkward. It really is. Um, we're going to we're gonna make a promise to protect her. Uh, we're going to give her a little bit of a hug and even some romantic flowers. See, we, we were going to, we're going to come on a little, a little softer this time. And, um, she, she likes that. Uh, we are, let's see, compliment her appearance and her personality and make a promise to always protect her. And I think, uh, we're going to have little guy go to sleep here. He wants to be a major master. Interesting. He wants to earn three degrees. Oh, goodness. I don't even think I could do that, even if I wanted to, Hampton. Um, all right. Well, I'm not going to press upon the issue. However, I'm actually gonna, just going to have everyone go to sleep because it is quite late. Uh, and then I will work on this tomorrow, and we might have to accelerate their relationship just a little bit. And I hope Connor will sleep in the same bed. Yeah, they're cool with it. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and actually end part 10 right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know what you all think in the comments down below. And I will see you all in my very next Let's Play. Bye.